You may have heard by now about reports the Food and Drug Administration is considering putting a warning on the Johnson & Johnson coronavirus vaccine. It's because of a possible link between the vaccine and Guillain-Barre syndrome. The Washington Post broke the news earlier today, saying the CDC has confirmed about 100 cases that have been diagnosed in people who recently had gotten the single-dose vaccine. Guillain-Barre syndrome is rare but can be serious. It's not entirely known why it happens, but when it does, the person's immune system attacks their nerves. It may start with weakness and tingling in hands and feet, but can spread, paralyzing someone's whole body. There is no cure, but in most cases, people recover. According to the article, the CDC says those recently diagnosed had received the Johnson & Johnson shot about two weeks prior. Cases involved mostly men, especially those over 50 years of age. Regulators believe the Johnson & Johnson shot to be safe and effective, but are expected to issue the warning since a small risk is there. We asked LSU Health's Dr. Benjamin Springate if people should be concerned. It appears that there have been 12.8 million Johnson & Johnson vaccines administered, and the monitoring system employed by the FDA has identified approximately 100 cases around the country. That means about one case out of every 128,000 vaccinations. It's definitely something we want to pay attention to, but this does not mean that we necessarily should stop using this vaccine. I imagine that the Food and Drug Administration is going to be watching this closely. That math is important to note. Again, there have been more than 12 million vaccinations and just 100 reports of this happening. It's unclear when the FDA might issue their warning. In the meantime, officials are stressing the vaccine is safe, that the benefits far outweigh the risk. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News.